So you're looking to add armors to Skyrim that look awesome and don't break the lore, like Steve does with his Skyrim setup. I mean, you do you, Steve, but this video is not for you. This is for the lore buffs out there. I found only the best retextures, mods that add more armors, and a little bonus, so stay to the end. There are a few general all texture replacers out there, but when it comes to specific armor replacers, the Frankly HD set raises the bar. The shrouded armor set adds new detail to the stitching and worn leather of this Dark Brotherhood favorite. And you can choose to use the version from Oblivion if you prefer that one. The Frankly HD Thieves Guild set looks aged and worn. The leather is scratched from wear and the leather pockets are soft from being used to store the stolen valuables that you've been stealing all over the place. The Nightingale armor also feels really ancient and mysterious and looks even more aged than the other previous two sets that I've noted here. The Dragonbone armor set also looks really rough and textured like you you could actually feel the the bones on your screen and the scales and dragon leather under the bones really stand out in a very similar way to something like alligator skin and one of the more common sets that they've set up is the imperial armor set you can see uh, imperials all over skyrim and these armors look so much more lifelike now the worn iron and steel, the, the leather, the chainmail, it feels a lot more realistic in the Frankly HD sets. And then the final Frankly HD set that we're going to note here is an upgrade to Mirac. And it's much more detailed with the, the mask. And there's also recolored robe variants. There's a green and a blue and a red variant on this one. And then there's Steve, I told you we're not doing boob armor today. Okay. So other than Frankly HD sets, I'd also recommend the Guards Armor Replacer Armor. This gives the guards in each city their own unique look. It wouldn't make sense for all the guards to look so similar across Skyrim. You know how they are, they all look very similar with just slightly different shields. So this ups the diversity. Each of the guards in the different holds and, and some of the other locations all look very different and diverse with significant variations to their helmets, their body armor, and even the shapes of their shields. But I know you don't just want higher quality versions of existing armors and more guards, you want more armors. Steve, not like this. Okay, so the Immersive Armors mod has been a staple of the community for five years now, adding over 55 new armor sets, 60 variations of lore friendly armors, plus, get this, 396 new shields and so many other wearables, eye patches, capes, earrings, scarves, so many other things. This mod comes with lots of customization options, variants, and you can even set which types of races, cultures, enemy types, and NPCs can use which armors to craft a truly lore accurate experience. This mod is amazing. This creates so much diversity in the world. It is a must install. It is huge, but it is a must install. If you do feel like it begins to break the lore, then look at the settings because you might just need to tweak some of the settings to make certain areas, certain NPCs, certain locations a little bit more accurate to your expectations for who should be wearing what types of armor. Other than that, you're going to see a lot of variations for the types of things that you would be running into in the world. Next on my list, I've included the armor variants expansion mod. It wouldn't make sense that every iron helmet would look exactly alike, right? Each would be crafted slightly different, even if they were made by the same smith, but definitely if they were made by different smiths in different locations. This mod adds different looks for each existing armor type, and they all look awesome. So add a little bit of variation to existing types of armors with the armor variants expansion mod. And uh, no, Steve, they still don't have bikinis in Skyrim, but we are adding in another way to expand what everyone's wearing because not everyone wears armor. So what about the other clothes too? So the armor and clothing expansion mod adds more than just armor because again, this is lore friendly stuff, more clothes, robes, higher resolution fabrics, and even more higher detailed textures 
on the clothing, bring them to life. You can see the details here and what people are wearing. That makes sense because, you know, sometimes you, you're not wearing armor or you're not coming across people wearing armor. So why have higher detail armor when you look at the guy next to them and they're wearing robes and the robes look like crap. So why don't we update the rest of the clothes as well? All right, here we are. This is the final bonus I told you about. Horses need armor too, right? Even the Creation Club only gives you two horse armors. So let's add some more. Here are five more variants based around five Skyrim holds and they look pretty freaking good. Okay, Steve, maybe not as good as this one, but still. So load these all up and enjoy a much more lore friendly, reclothed and armored Skyrim. And remember to subscribe to come back for more Skyrim mod videos. And join me in the mornings when I stream on this channel at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific, right here on this channel, live streams. See you guys then.